Hey folks, uh, Mr. MathBlog here. This lesson is metric measures. So this is lesson 10.5 in our textbook. And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. So here's our common core strand for our teachers. And our question is, how can we compare and convert metric units? So here we go. This is our metric system. I don't know if you hear the rain in the background. We've got a nice stormy day today. Uh, okay, so anyway... So right here in the in the middle is for meters and liters and grams, okay? So when we go to the left, they get larger by powers of tens, okay? And so when we go to the right, they get uh, smaller by powers of tens, okay? So, um, uh, you know, if we take this number right here, this is a bigger number. When we go from a bigger number to a smaller number, remember, we multiply and we go from a smaller number to a bigger number, we divide, okay? So it depends on if we're talking about uh, meters or liters or grams. You know, if, let's say we're talking about meters here. This would be kilometers. This would be hectometers. This would be decameters. This would be meters, decimeters, centimeters, and millimeters. And if we're talking about liters, this would be kiloliters, okay? And this would be hectoliters. And so this would be decaliters. So and then this would be deciliters and so on. And so if we're talking about grams, this would be kilograms, and we'd represent that as kg. This would be hg if we're talking about grams. This would be dag for decagrams if we're talking about grams, okay? So there, it's all base 10. That's what metric system is good about by base 10 because it's easy to multiply by base tens. Um, these are called compatible numbers, tens is. So if we start going to the right, if we take this number and go to this number, we multiply it by 10. Okay, that either moves the decimal to the right or adds a zero if you if you have numbers. So if we just keep going to the right, it's times 10, times 10, and we just keep going times 10. If we start over here on the left over here, and go to the, I'm sorry, way over here on the right, did I say left? Over here on the right and go to the left, then we divide by 10. So divide by 10, we just keep dividing by 10, and that'll take us all the way to the left. So remember, when we go from smaller to larger, we divide by 10, and when we start from a larger number and go down to a smaller number, we multiply by 10, okay? So here they are separated here. Here it is in meters, and when you're talking about lengths and uh, meters, it represents length. Liter represents capacity, usually in fluid. Um, uh, like a, a liter of milk or a liter of soda or something like that, okay? So, um, uh, this is, well, you can start to hear that rain go quite a bit. This is uh, kilometers, this is kiloliters, and this is kilograms, okay? And so as we go this way, we multiply by 10. As we go this way, we divide by 10, okay, each time. All right, let's try some of these, you guys. So, Billy estimates the distance from his mom's house to his dad's house is about... Uh, 15,000 meters. So about how many kilometers uh, away is this? Okay, so what we're going to do is convert uh, 15,000 meters to kilometers. So we're going to go from here and go backwards. So as we go from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we divide by 10. Well, the rain's picking up out there. So we're going to divide by 10 three times. Okay, so just slide that up right there. So find the relationship between the units. So meters are how many powers of 10 smaller than kilometers? Okay, so here's one, two, three. Three powers of 10 smaller. So there are, so there are 10 to the third uh, meters in one kilometer right here. So if, you know, if we have one kilometer, then we go times 10, times 10, times 10. That'll give us how many meters right there. So when we go backwards, we're going to divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10. And 10 to the third is 1,000, so that's what we're going to divide by is 1,000 right there. So we have 15,000 in there. So we're going to determine the operation to be used when, we, when we're converting from a, a smaller unit to a larger unit, then, uh, then we're going to divide on that, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and take care of that right there. So now we're going to convert. We're going to convert 15,000 meters. We're going to divide right here, and it was by 1,000 because it was 3 powers of 10. And remember from the last lesson or even from prior lessons, if it ends in zeros and you're dividing, you can wipe out those zeros. You can cross them off. So we're left with that 15 right there. So the number of kilometers is 15. So the distance from Billy's mom's and dad's house is about... 
uh, 15 kilometers right there. Now, if you're wondering how far is that, well, uh, one kilometer is about 0.6 or 6 tenths of a mile. So if we multiply 6 tenths times 15, it's about 9 miles right there, okay? That's what that means, okay? Most of the world, in fact, all of the world represents a metric system. We're the only ones that, that don't. Anyway, so at least I think, I don't know, we're probably not the only ones, but we're, we're the major com uh, country that doesn't. So, hey, cho uh, let's choose a couple of units in the chart and explain how we use the powers of 10 to describe how the two units are related. So I chose um, uh, liters in this case. So I, I went from hectoliters all the way down to centiliters right here. So if we, it went down by 1, 2, 3, 4. So it went down by 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, which means you multiply by 10 when we go from... Uh, a bigger one to a smaller one, so it's 10,000 times as big as a centiliter. A hectoliter is 10,000 times as big as a centiliter, okay? And if we, uh, uh, if we went back this way, we divide by 10, so uh, we just move the decimal or knock off zeros or whatever. So I have some more examples of that. So here we go. Monica has a necklace that is 1.8 decimeters long. How many millimeters long is that necklace? Okay, so what we're going to do here is convert uh, 1.8 decimeters to millimeters. Okay, so here's decimeters right here. And so the trick on this is, is we, we uh, show 1.8. And then, uh, so since the, the unit that we're uh, dealing with is decimeters right here, we're going to place the decimal right here. Um, so that the decimeters are the whole number unit. So the, it's going to go 1.8 right there, okay? All right, so there's that. There's the decimal right there. And then now what we're going to do is, is uh, oops, let me get that back up there, is um, uh, we're now going to take off the decimal point and move it so that the, uh, the millimeters will be the whole number. So we're gonna, here's the millimeters right here. We're going to move this decimal over here. Let's just slide that up right there, okay? So now we're going to take it off and move it so that the millimeters is going to be the whole number right there. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll just take this. I think I can slide it over. So right there. There's the decimal right there, okay? And then uh, now we're going to write zeros to the left of that. So if we have any blank spots, we just put a zero in there. And so that'll tell us how many millimeters that are in the 1.8 uh, 1 decimeters right there. Okay, so it looks like 180. So, record the value. So 1.8 decimeters is the same as 180 millimeters right there. Okay, so let's answer the question. Monica's necklace is about 180 millimeters long. All right. Okay, let's try this, you guys. They give us a couple of problems right here. And what we're going to do is, is here we're going to convert... 247 milligrams to centigrams and then to decigrams and then to grams right there okay so and then over here we're going to convert 3.9 um, hectometers to uh, decameter decaliters did I say hectometers that should be a liter right there I'm sorry that should be a L right there uh, let me change that and I don't know they, they do capital L's on that so anyway so um, it's going to be we're going to change it from uh, hectoliters to decaliters to liters and then to deciliters right there, okay? All right, so here's our conversion table right here. Okay, remember, it starts over here. The biggest uh, unit is kilometers, and so when we go to the right, then we multiply by 10, and when we start with a smaller one and we go to the left, then we divide by 10. So over here, you guys, 247 milligrams is this right here. So we're the 247 and we're going to change this to centigrams. So that's right here. That's to the left. So we're going to, so are, are the units uh, being converted from larger or smaller units? So these ones are con being converted from uh, from the smaller units and then these ones we're going from the hectometers. Uh, so we're starting, uh, we're, are the units being converted uh, a large unit or a smaller unit? So as we're going down, this one's going down and we're converting this to a smaller one right here. And then this one over here, we're starting um, we're starting at the milligrams right here. And we're going to the centigrams. We're going to the decigrams. Whoops. Uh, to the decigrams and finally to the grams. So they're, they're growing larger on this side. Okay. So should we multiply or divide on this side? Well, when we go 
this way we're going to divide and when we go for this one when it's going down to the right we're going to multiply okay I hope that makes sense okay so let's go ahead and put divisions and multiplies in those things right here all right so when we divide by 10 okay since there's no zeros there then you pretend like the decimals right there well it's really starting to ring so I don't know if you can hear that or not so just move the decimal over when you divide by 10 so this is going to become 24.7 all right, so when we divide it again by 10, or now it's going to be divided by 100, so, so we're going to just take this and move it this many places to the left, two places, however many zeros. So 1, 2 is going to take it right there, 2.47. That's how many uh, uh, decagrams it's going to be. So 247 milligrams is going to be how many grams? Well, we divide it by 1,000, so that means move the decimal from here three places. It's going to be right there, so we'll have to insert a zero, so 0 0.247. All right, now when we multiply by 10, that just moves the decimal to the right, okay? So when we divide by 10, it moves it to the left, like over here, and when we multiply by 10, it moves it to the right. So times 10, times 10, see we had to add a zero, and then times 10, we had to add another zero right there. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and hope you're having a great year. Take care.